Hey guys, Tony here at Northgate GM. Today we're taking a look at a very nice 2020 Chevrolet Traverse. This one has just over 22,000 kilometers and it is in fantastic shape. It's uh, not too often we get a vehicle uh, after, you know, three, four years that comes back and looks like this. So this is fantastic. Let's go ahead and do a quick walk around. As you can see, it's white in color, but it's not just your uh, average white. This one is the Tricoat Frost White. Very, very nice color especially in the sun, just gives it uh, a little bit more uh, pizzazz, I guess you could say, but very, very nice unit, no question about it. Up front, as you can see, it's in fantastic shape. We got the uh, blacked out Chevrolet logo. No chips that I can see here. So that's always nice to see. Rims are in fantastic shape. Lots of rubber left, pretty much brand new. Try to get a nice side shot here for you. Very nice vehicle. If you're looking for uh, an SUV with space for cargo passengers, this is the biggest SUV that you're gonna get before going into like a, a Tahoe or a Yukon or something like that. I got one of these myself personally and it uh, works out great for our family. We got a few kids and uh, lots of space for them to get nice and comfortable. Not fight with each other. <laughs> and uh, lots of space for their gear as well too. I'll try to get a nice side shot here. Looks like we got a lovely fire truck coming our way here. And this one is also the Premier, so fully loaded on the inside. Uh, and it's the Premier Redline Edition, so you have those Nice little red accents throughout. On that note, let's go ahead and take a look at the interior. We did get a chance to wash the outside. Didn't do a full detail on the inside yet, but really, I mean, it's in, uh, it's pretty much in showroom shape either way. <laughs> There's not really much to clean here at all, if anything. You got beautiful leather seats, perforated leather, nice stitching. They are heated and vented as well, and they're fully powered seats. Got a very nice Bose stereo sound system in here, full memory seating all-wheel drive that can be turned on and off so you can go in two-wheel drive if necessary to save some fuel so this one has uh, 22,492 kilometers to be exact so lots of life left and this one does have the uh, 3.6 liter v6 engine it's been around for a little bit and definitely uh, tried and tested no question about it we do have Apple CarPlay Android Auto and once again heated vented seats all that good stuff remote start you got a nice wireless charger here as well console shifter here in the middle shifter for your all-wheel drive parking brake got a nice little console here in the middle with some space you got a nice uh, sunroof here shade in the back or uh, I should say skylight in the back you also have this nice little compartment in behind the screen if you want to hide anything behind there whether it's your phone some Kleenex chargers whatever it might be just taking a look at some of the steering wheel options here for all of your infotainment controls you also have uh, your cruise control of course nice heated steering wheel and the list goes on and on you also have a nice video screen mirror it can also be used as a regular mirror if you don't like that particular function but uh, I actually really do like this makes it very easy to see out the back because as he uses a camera instead of uh, the mirror itself, but you can use it however you like, totally up to you. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second row here. We do have bucket seats in the second row, so very spacious. And these seats move front and back, so you can make a little bit more room for the uh, person in the third row if needed. And that whole seat moves up forward as well too. So if you're gonna be using a car seat, it makes it very easy to get into the back. Having said that, I know my kids, they usually just run through the middle here and hop into the back without moving any of the seats. Sometimes that's a little bit easier, but uh, whatever works for you. And you also have these nice all weather liners throughout the vehicle, gonna protect your vehicle nicely, especially during the spring and the winter when it's a little bit mucky out there, right? Let's go ahead and take a look at the rear lift gate, just so you get an uh, idea on how much storage space there is. So lots of space back here. Seats fold down very easily. The 
Looks like that one still got the seat belt attached to it, but you take out the seat belt, folds forward very, very easily. And you do have this uh, nice protection here on all the seats. Also in the back area here. And then below here, you have some nice storage. We actually can fit quite a bunch of stuff down here. We use it for soccer balls, a bunch of different sports equipment. And then this way it's kind of out of sight, out of mind, yet it's still there when you need it. So there you have it. Just a quick overview of this beautiful SUV. And as you can tell, I'm a big fan myself. Like I said, I own one and it's been nothing but good to our family. So there you have it, 2020 Chevrolet Traverse Premier Redline. If you do have any questions, feel free to get in touch. My name is Tony. You can reach me here at 780-886-0220. Thanks for watching.